another big trade that took place. Um, we had the Warriors trade. Now, that's this is another trade people been speculating for a while. Um, yeah. thinking that like, oh, how they going how's the Warriors gonna do with three guards on this team? Um, the trade we talking about is the D'Angelo Russell trade. Um, Golden State uh traded D'Angelo Russell to Minnesota, a deal that included Andrew Wiggins, a twenty. Excuse me. Uh, twenty. Let's see. Yeah, a twenty twenty two, uh, protected first round pick and a twenty twenty two second round pick. Uh, and the Warriors also sent Jacob Evans and Amari Spellman to the Timberwolves as no. well. What's your thoughts on this trade, Mario? Um, Minnesota, I think they won this trade. Mm-hmm. And you look at a guy like D'Angelo Russell, right. twenty four years old, all star already. And then you you put them alongside Carl Carl Anthony Towns, like they're they're they have a close relationship. And they do, they that's, do. That's a plus already, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I think Minnesota's they're on their way to rebuilding their franchise and headed into the right direction. And then when you look at Golden State, I don't think they made a smart decision there. Really? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Andrew Wiggins, he's a good player, you know, but um. His expectations from the first... He's a first-round pick, and his expectations are kind of... Uh, he's kind of disappointed cer- certain amount of people. So uh, I think definitely Minnesota's won that trade, you know? I think... See, I'm on the opposite side when it comes to this. Because <laughs> I think it's actually... I think it's a win for both teams. Because okay. Minnesota gets that guard that they've been asking for for a while. Because we seen they just traded Jeff T to Atlanta not too long ago as well. Yeah. Um. So they replaced him essentially with D'Angelo Russell, and I think that's a good trade for them. But it's also a good trade for the Warriors, and here's why I think so. Okay. I think it's a power move for the Warriors, and we seen Steve Kerr come out. He said to be blunt that the fit with D'Angelo kind of it kind of didn't work, and they see that Wiggins would be a better fit for the team. So I think this is actually a good move because when you put Wiggins, who's actually averaging 22.4 uh, okay. points this year with yeah. 5.2 rebounds and 3.7 assists. His rebounds and assists are his career's high so far. He's been playing really well this year. I think you add that with a Draymond Green, with the Klay Thompson, with a Steph Curry. I think it's actually pretty good. And I think he'll be like a Harrison Barnes 2.0 for that team. Because we've seen them win that championship with Harrison I think that's Barnes. what they wanted. That's what they intended yeah. to do, yeah. Because I think with, with KD gone, that that hole of like a wing player being there was kind of like there. And yeah. D'Angelo Russell, yeah, he's good. And it was kind of like thinking, oh, well, we're going to play Claire at the three and put D'Angelo and Steph at the two or one. Or we have D'Angelo come off the bench. Like, how is this going to work out? So I yeah. think adding Wiggins to that team actually helps them in the long run. And I think with them being so trash this year, I think <laughs> – they should draft a big man. I think if they okay. if the odds is in their favor, and let's say that let's let's say hypothetically they I get a top that. three pick. Let's say if they get like a James Wiseman on the team, like solid. Can you see that? Like nah, they, they right back smart. in championship. Yeah. That makes sense. But when you look at the timetable, like for Golden State, <laughs> Minnesota won the trade because they basically they got an all star. Mm-hmm. And Golden State, they could have waited. You know, Minnesota won D'Angelo Russell since what, last year? Yeah, they've been wanting him for a minute now. Especially yeah, in free so agency, they won him. Why too. not? Why didn't Golden State just wait till the offseason, see what they could get, see what more they can get than Andrew Wiggins? I feel like they, they could have got a lot more than Andrew Wiggins. But you think they could have got more than that? I, yeah, but for I don't, sure. I don't think for D'Lo, though, I, I don't know. I don't think. For sure. Because you got now. Being a Louisville native like D-Lo is, and me myself yeah. being a Louisville native, I don't want to talk too bad on the guy, but, <laughs> but D-Lo kind of got like a track record, not on the court, you but like so? okay, with, with, off, the, off court. the court issues. Yeah. Like we go back to the Swaggy P stuff in, in Los Angeles. Oh. We go back to uh, Brooklyn with the get Old caught, in, get, get caught with weed. Like there, there's some stuff that, that D-Lo has done off the court that has questions that some people don't want to put up with it. Let me ask you this. Go ahead. You, <laughs> Who do you think has more upside, D'Angelo Russell or Andrew Wiggins? D'Lo. I think D'Lo does have a, a good up, upside. That's why I said it's kind of win-win right, for both. Right. Because I think, like me, you was talking before, the, before the camera went on. Like you, mm-hmm. like we pointed out the ages of Steph Curry and Clay Thompson. Yes. And kind of like talking about how their windows could be closing soon in terms yeah. of like getting the championship. But I think they, with them being like mostly shooters. But kind of injuries are on it, but I think they still relatively young enough that like the injury shouldn't 
bother them as much. I think they got themselves a good five more year, five good more years in them okay. before they really start okay. to slow down and really like get less than what uh-huh. they are right now. I think with Wiggins on that team, like I said, being there are some Barnes two point on being the younger version of that. And like I said, if if they get a good big man to go along with it, like a young, let's say they get top three pick. That would be very they, interesting. If they yeah. get a James Wiseman and to go along with the bench they already got, they got some young guys on there right now that's playing real good. Eric yeah. Pascal is playing good, averaging 13.5 points and five rebounds this year. Damian Lee, who came from Louisville, who a lot of people think he's on the team because he married a Curry. <laughs> And with eleven, averaging eleven point eight points this year with five rebounds. Yeah, I with them two coming off the bench, and I think if they're able to get some some good pieces in the free agency to go on the bench as well to go along with that team. Um, granted, with you got what four players on the team with kind of with max money. Yeah, because you got Steph with yeah. super max. You got Clay with a max contract. Wiggins just signed a max deal not too long ago. He's on his deal. He got three years, ninety five million left on his deal. Draymond just, just signed a hundred million dollar yeah. contract. It's all season two, so the money can be kind of limited. But I think if the, the, some people in the league, some good free agents, because it's free agency summer, it's not gonna be as deep as last seasons. But there's gonna be some good rotation, some role players. I think yeah. if they see this, they'll jump back on the Warriors bandwagon, and I think they could be able to make a good run in the playoffs. Yeah, I think so. What um. That's, I think another reason why I think Wiggins will help the team too. He's a relatively healthy guy, as we're seeing now. Health yeah. is kind of the the Achilles heel of the Warriors right now. Yeah, everybody's out, but yeah, Wiggins he he stays healthy. Yeah, for sure. Only missing um only nine games last season. Uh, he played. I looked at his numbers in his game log. He um, played two eighty two uh, game seasons back to back, and uh, one eighty one game season as well. Uh, like I say, missed nine games last season. He only missed eight this year so far. So he's a relatively healthy guy, which the Warriors need. So oh, yeah. with him being young, he's only 24 right now. Okay. So I I think that goes a, a, a long way for the Warriors right now. And like he can, we seen him play and kind of carry the load, but not be so much of the primary player. Especially as Cat came to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Yeah. But I think. The Warriors would get him into a system and kind of teach him how to play and kind of make him a better player. Because some people have, like you said, point. yeah, like you said, some people said that like he's kind of a not he's he kind of not lived the expectations. Like yes, what do you see in his game as a fellow basketball player? What, what do you see in his game that he can improve? Um, I would say be more consistent with his shooting. Mm-hmm. Um, and consistency is the major thing for him. You know, just bringing it every night. You know, so. That's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. Other than that, you know, he's a great athlete. You know, he could defend. And um, it's going to be fun to watch. Like you said, you know, Golden State, <laughs> you never know. A, a change in scenery can definitely do a, uh, a, sh- a huge difference in someone's game. You yeah. Know? So I think we'll see how this goes. I, I have them with this trade. You got the I got I got Minnesota. I think Minnesota they they're trying to stir something up. You know, you never know. They, why not? Do you wh- see them going to the playoffs? Coming to the playoffs next season or this season? I don't I don't think it's about now. You know, for Minnesota, I think they're like I said they're trying to rebuild. They they're getting to the rebuilding phase. Maybe mm-hmm. add Devin Booker. You know, I'll tell you those, add that. Yeah, yeah. Now now we're talking about yeah contending. Not once you know. So I think it, it's gonna take some time for sure. You think? You think next season or an all season, you think they could pull off a trade to get Devin Booker? It's possible. Because I've never possible. been talking about them three playing together. I want to play to, yeah. Want to play with each other. Yeah. We got one piece of the puzzle. You already got D Lo there. You got D Lo. You got Cat. So we just need to get Devin Booker. Gotta get I, don't, I don't know if the Suns going to give him up, man. Let's see. The Timberwolves might be able to pull something off. I think. I hope so. I hope so. I, that'll actually be fun to see. Yeah. 